Um, so this video is going to be talking about uh, uh, reading in the keystrokes from the keyboard and the mouse. Um, so what I'm going to concentrate on is this block of code right here. And so if you're not 100% on how Pygame takes in the keystrokes and the mouse clicks um, and how this uh, for loop works exactly, then go ahead and stick around and watch this video. Um, so the way it works is, uh, generally speaking, I have my paddle variables up here, my paddle one, my paddle two variables, I have my ball variables, and then I have my while loop. My while loop starts, and we have we read in our keystrokes and uh, toggle these variables, either true or false. Based on the true or falseness of those variables, we adjust the paddle's position, paddle one, paddle two. And then we stop it at the top of the screen, bounce the ball, and then at the very bottom we blit the adjusted paddle and the adjusted ball, and we burn it to the screen, and that's one frame of animation. And then we come back into the for loop, uh, the while loop, and then we do it over again. Right. So then, uh, over the course of the game, that's how everything moves. Um, so then this here might seem like magic. And so if anything ever seems like magic, then that means you're confused. Okay. And you have to be clear. You have to know exactly how everything works in order to debug, in order to program, in order to find, to know, um, in order to properly program, right, intelligently. So, um, okay, so how does it go? Well, let's assume we start the game and then the two players, the left player and the right player are both moving their paddle upward. So they're both pressing W and up. Um, so what this for loop is doing is it's running this algorithm right here, this, uh, this function. What that function does is it gets all the keystrokes from the from the input, so from the keyboard and from the mouse. In this case, the mouse mouse isn't working. We're not you know clicking on anything. So all it gets is the W key and the up key, and it puts it in an array. And an array you could think of as a stack, right? So let's assume on the stack we have W key on the bottom, and then we have above that we have the uh, the up key. So this for loop is going to go through those different keystrokes. So event the first time into this for loop event is going to equal to the up key. The second time into the for loop, the event is going to equal to the W key. So let's pretend like uh, we're starting the game. Both players are pressing up, and event is equal to the up key. So it comes in here, and it checks if that's true. That's not true, because that will only be true if the user clicks on the red button on the top left corner of the window. So that's not true. Right? We should not exit the, exit the program. Then it comes in here and checks that. Is that true? And what is this saying? This is saying, OK, well, this keyboard event, whatever it is, that uh, input event, if its type is key down, meaning did the person press down on the key? Did they depress the key? And that is true. We did depress the key. Right? Alternatively, it's going to check this here, key up. And key up, if the type is key up, then that means they depress the key. They let go of the key. So then this guy here is true right? because we pressed the key down. And then it's going to come in here. It's going to check, is that true? Now we're, w now we're checking the key uh, property of the event. This is telling me what key exactly was pressed. So this is going to be true because I'm pressing the up key. And this k underscore w is the code for the up key. You can look it up on uh, Google, the documentation for Pygame, what all the keystrokes are coded as. But the up key is coded as k underscore capital U capital P. So this is true. So then it comes inside, and we're going to adjust the move up right variable and the move down right variable. We're going to set them both. We're going to set move up to true, move down to false. And then it's going to end this if else block, right? Because this is an if else if. So it's going to end it, and then it's going to come here and it's going to check that. Is that true? No, it's not true, man. It's not, I'm not pressing the W key, I'm pressing the up key. So it skips that whole block here. Oh, I'm sorry. No, it comes down here and checks that. Am I pressing the S key? No, I'm not. I'm pressing the up key. So we're done with this block, which means we're done with this else if, which means we're done with all of this, right? because this is one big else if block. All right, cool. So my right, my move right is equal to true at the end of that iteration of the for loop. Now we come back up, and event is now equal to the W key. OK, so the W key, that's not true. This here is true, right? We are pressing it down. And then this here is not true. It's not equal to the up key. It's not equal to the down key, right? We come into the if statement. And uh, this is true. It is equal to the W key, right? So we come in and now move up left. This move up left variable is equal to true. 
Okay, cool. So we did that. Move down left is equal to false. That ends this if else block. And it ends this whole if else block here, the outer if else block. And then we come back to the for loop. There's nothing left on this stack, right? We got all of it. We got the up key. We got the W key. So this for loop ends, which means we jump into the paddle position algorithm, which adjusts the paddle, the, the Y position of each paddle, like plus speed or minus speed, depending on whether they press the up key or the down key. And then we come on down, and it screen blitz to that Y position, the paddle surface to that adjusted Y position on both paddles, right? And then we flip, which burns to the screen, which sh um, which gives the illusion that there's animation going on, that things are moving. But all we're doing is we're just adjusting the paddle's Y position using this algorithm, right? So what's the algorithm again? Reading in the keystrokes, adjusting the move up, move down variables um, to true or false. Based on the true or falseness of those variables, we're incrementing or decrementing the Y position of those paddles, which is affecting where on the screen that surface is being blitted, where that surface is being placed, and then we're burning it to the screen. So we're saying small adjustment, small uh, burn, small adjustment, burn, small adjustment, burn, small adjustment, burn. W and the end result, since this while loop is running 60 times a second, um, it looks like there's animation going on. So that is exactly how this for loop works, and that's something that you have to wrap your head around um, moving forward. And uh, just remember, the point of this lesson is to know how this works, how the keystrokes work. Uh, but another is to teach the more important lesson that there is no magic going on. There's never magic going on, right? And if you think there is, then you're confused, okay? So come and talk to me about that.